Okay, folks, welcome back to the Grimmer Garage. Today we are assembling our 125. And before we get started on assembling the valves into the head, I want to draw attention to the O-ring grooves. When you go to put these O-rings in, you want to make sure that there's no remaining O-ring left in the groove. A lot of times it can get flat, and you don't really notice that there is even an O-ring there. So make sure you've got a good groove. Make sure that your wall thickness, where the groove is, or where the O-ring sits, you know, you got a wall here and a wall here, make sure that that's not corroded. Over here, you got your large O-rings. Make sure, again, you've got enough wall here to hold your O-ring in place without it blowing out. So it looks like all of these are nice and clean. And then over here on the bench, we've got the valves, which were previously rebuilt. They are ready to go. And then we have the unloader bank. These are where your unloader pistons go. So we'll get into those in a second. And these are the valve holding tools that help with assembly. You'll see that we offer those in the gasket kit. We also offer them separately. <clears throat> In my opinion, they are absolutely essential if you're going to do one of these valve jobs because you do not want to have to take apart the entire engine because one of these O-rings slipped out when you went to put the valve in and now you got a leak. That's a major deal. So do it right the first time with a valve holding set and you won't have any issues. 